Uh, according to John Lamb in his journal article in January 2019, uh, Adopting a Pet, the Good, the Bad, the Ugly, he says, in 2018, I surveyed 250 people with pets, and one of the questions he asked was, do pets make you happier? Uh, 247 people said yes, two said no, and one person let it blank, left it blank. And I believe my audience here today would agree with the 247 that pets are awesome. Um, there's still a lot of them that are in need and, are in, and um, looking for the right home. And today I want to convince you to adopt a pet on your own, whether you haven't thought about getting a pet and you want to, I'm going to convince you to look into that, or if you are looking to get a pet, I want to convince you to go to a shelter. Um, but why would you listen to me? I've had pets ever since I've grown up. Here's an example of my, an example of my dog, Alice. Um, my pets are all have been um, adopted from shelters as well, just like Alice. And uh, they've been so, I mean, great for my family and me. Um, there's been so much fun, been a great companion for us to have with our family. Um, but today I want to talk to you about why they um, need help and why they actually help others as well. Um, the, I want to talk about the benefits of having pets, uh, the reasons why you should go to a shelter, as long as the reason, along with the reasons um, why shelters are bad and the problems with them, and why a couple of myths with shelters as well. So let's start about why you should get a pet in the first place. Um, pets, I mean, besides that they're amazing friends, they can actually make you healthier. Uh, John Lamb continues his article in saying that according to the Center of Disease Control and Prevention, pets also lower uh, blood pressure and cholesterol in most humans. Um, in other words, they actually make you healthier besides just having fun. They can also relax you and um, just kind of relieve your stress. I mean, who can get mad when a dog's kind of looking at you with a big uh, bundle of joy? Um, they also help you with your mental health, which is a much more serious issue. He continues to, John continues to say that not only do animals give unconditional love to their owners, but caring for a companion can give some sense of purpose and help with one's loneliness. Um, they aren't just friends, but are good medicine for people's well-being. Um, I mean, mental health is a serious issue, and I feel like dogs, cats, and just any type of support animal would, is beneficial for that. And also, who just doesn't want a friend um, to come home to, to do tricks with, and that um, will love you endlessly. I mean, you're their entire world, so there's, reason no, there's no reason to not get an animal. Um, hopefully by now you will want to adopt a pet, and I want now to tell you why you should go to a shelter instead of going to a, another option. Um, Adopting is pretty easy. Um, it's made easy because the shelters know getting a pet is hard and they want to find homes for these animals and so they try to make it as easy as possible. Um, they are cheaper than puppy mills and if you don't know a puppy mill or just an animal mill is like a factory style breeding um, facility uh, for animals. I mean they create purebreds of animals but put the welfare of the dogs aside and just put straight profit for um, their business and usually these kind of animals cost about a thousand dollars. Um, Kaylin, Kutit, Kaylin Custis, uh, in her book Animals Are Not Ours in 2017, explains that many shelters actually spay and neuter their animals before adoption, saving hundreds of dollars, and some even microchip and, microchip and vaccinate them even more, to saving even more money. Um, this also saves time. Um, I know a lot of people, a big skeptical thing about getting a pet is it takes a lot of time and effort, but shelters really try to make it as easy as possible for people and save as much time, money, and effort for them just so these animals can find. Uh, the right homes. Um, Kevin continues to say that shelters are brimming with happy and healthy dogs waiting for someone to come take them home. Most shelters also do checks with the families just to make sure that their homes are permanent. They're just trying to double check to make sure that homes, the homes that these animals are going to are actually good for them and they're more permanent than their uh, previous situation. Um, adopting from shelters also makes room for other animals or in other words are a two-for-one kind of deal. Um, Kevin explains this two-for-one uh, deal when you're actually saving two lives instead of one from adopting from a shelter. She says approximately 7.6 million animals are in shelters. The, there are 2.7 million that are euthanized. Adoption moves vulnerable animals from shelters to safety and also makes room in the shelter um, for other animals to come in, along with spreads resources more evenly. Uh, a lot of shelters right now in the U.S. are very overcrowded. There are a lot of animals in there still looking for homes. And so when you would adopt an animal from a shelter, you actually make it easier um, for another animal to come in and eat and drink, just have enough supplies to keep those animals happy and healthy. Um, it's almost like a two-for-one deal or a domino effect that when you save one, you save another. Uh, also, as I, as I just said, euthanization is kind of an extreme option, but um, it's kind of the only option shelters are faced with now. Jenica Jatowski, in her article, 10 Reasons to Adopt from a Shelter, says the, that the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals estimates that while 48% of dogs are adopted, 20% are euthanized, and while 50% of cats are adopted, 27 are euthanized. It hurts to think that a lot of animals are in shelters and won't 
see past a shelter because they can't find the right home or they can't find a home in general and that their um, the end of their life is at a shelter. So, I mean, if that's not moving enough to go out and adopt, I'm not really sure um, what there is. And I know a lot of people still have, um, are still doubting about going to a shelter for multiple reasons. Uh, one of the big ones that I uh, found was that are they really family ready? I know that kind of all shelter animals come from all over the place. But like I said before, shelter animals are actually mostly, most of the time, spayed, neutered, uh, microchipped, and even vaccinated before they're even put up for adoption. It's, again, it saves time and money. They're pretty much just looking for someone willing to take on that responsibility of having an animal. Another concern was, are they house trained or already aggressive? And in April of 2017, Corey Smith, the Director of Public Policy for Companion Animals at the Humane Society, says one big myth about shelter animals is their behavioral issues. However, many shelter animals are there because their owners can no longer take care of them. Um, the majority of pets are there because of their uh, people problems, such as financial crisis, divorce, or simply because the owners can no longer take care of them. What this means is that the majority of pets are there because but the majority of pets there are already house trained and socialized with other pets. Um, these animals, I mean, like Alice, she came from a shelter. Um, obviously, it was a little nerve wracking having our first dog in the family, but she, we had cats already and she just jumped right in. There was no real aggression, nothing negative towards them. Um, because she was already um, had a family with other cats, she was kind of just ready to go uh, into our family. Um, long story short, if you want a new best friend, there's really no other place to go but to go to a shelter. Um, I've told you guys why you should adopt a pet and why you should go to a shelter, um, the problems with shelters t today, and, some, and kind of tackled some of the myths about shelters. Um, I want to encourage you to think about um, your well-being along with other pets' well-being um, in regard to this speech, just to kind of keep it in mind. Um, my pets have really been amazing to me and my family, like Alice. Um, we are, I really don't know where we would be without them, I mean simply because they've just been so much joy in our lives. Thank you.